In the on-demand transportation world, the opportunity to move freight is dictated by the matching of your freight opportunities with your available vehicles. In an ideal world, every day your company will move all your shippers' freight using all your available vehicles. But that is never the case. Every day your company will say no to freight opportunities because the right vehicle was not available in the right place at the right time. Likewise, every day your company will have vehicles that sat idle because it was in the wrong place at the wrong time. In both scenarios, your company is losing growth opportunities. This video explains how to use the TMS technology to improve your ability to say yes to more freight opportunities and also expose your available vehicles to new sources of freight. First, some definitions. The definition of an available vehicle is where and when a vehicle becomes available to work. The definition of a posted vehicle is a vehicle that is exposed to a network of trusted trading partners. The definition of a trusted trading partner is a company like yours that will share their excess freight with you to help move your vehicles. Always pay promptly for services you provide. Never recruit your drivers. Share their excess vehicle capacity so you can say yes to more freight opportunities and deliver more services to your customers. Move your freight safely, timely, and professionally and treat your excess freight as if you were their best customer. Never steal your customers. So how do you set a vehicle as available? This can be done in one of five ways. First, a user can manually set the availability in the system. Second, if the vehicle is not on a load, with no future pre-planned load and the vehicle is traveling and the new vehicle positions are put in the system. As the vehicle is moving, each new position update will automatically reset the availability to the new location as of the date and time of the position update. Third, when a vehicle is taken out of service, you define the location and date time it will come back in service. The system will use this information to set the availability. When setting the in-service information, the user can lock the availability to be a different location at a different future date time. Fourth, when a vehicle is dispatched, the location where the vehicle will empty and the date time the trip is expected to complete will be used to set the availability. On dispatch, the user can lock the availability to be a different location at a future date time. Fifth, when a vehicle is pre-planned on a future load, the location where the trip will empty and the date time the trip is expected to complete will be used to set the availability. When pre-planning, the user can lock the availability to a different location at a future date time. To manually set the vehicle as available, use the Set Availability screen. The static information on the screen is as follows. One, where and when is the vehicle going to be available and if that information is locked? who set the availability, and when was it set, the last known location of the vehicle, and the date time that location was recorded, the current status of the vehicle. This can be one of on a load, out of service, or in service confirmed or unconfirmed. Is the vehicle allowed to be posted to your trusted network partners? The information you can change is as follows. One, if the vehicle can be posted to the network, you can set this to yes or no. Yes means your company will share the information in your trusted network. No means it will be hidden from your trusted network and only available to you. Two, where will the vehicle become available to work? To speed up the selection of this location, you can choose from the following options. A CRM, which is any of your customer locations, any carrier in the TMS shared carrier database, any of your preferred carriers, any one of your company locations, a city center that you enter, a valid zip or postal code, a location found in the global location database, if drivers are seated in the vehicle, the home address of any of the seated drivers, the last known location. This could be the location of the vehicle or if the vehicle has trailers hooked, it could be the location of one of the trailers. Third, when the vehicle becomes available for work. By default, this will have the current date and time, but it must be set sometime in the future. Fourth, any freeform note you want to share. For example, driver will not go to New York City or truck has extra cargo space with cab over. At the bottom of the screen, you can lock the availability so that it will not automatically change when new position updates arrive. If you lock the availability, you must set a date and time when the lock will expire. You might also enter a lock note to explain why the availability is locked. 
Once you have the availability set, just hit save. As an example, let's set this vehicle to be available in Cambridge, Ohio at 1800. The vehicle is currently in service, empty, with no pre-planned loads, and the driver is currently in Cincinnati, Ohio, heading towards Cambridge, Ohio. Set the available date time to be 1800, and then set the location using the city option to Cambridge, Ohio. Then set the lock to be at least one minute past the available date time. Finally, add any necessary notes and hit save. The resulting posting information shows correctly as well as the lock condition. As the driver moves towards Cambridge, any automatic or manual position updates will not alter the availability information until after the lock expires at 1800 or someone removes the lock. After 1800, any new position updates will automatically reset the availability information. Locks can be manually removed prior to their expiry by going to the vehicle availability screen and clicking the unlock. The first control to determine if the vehicle is shared in your trusted network can be found in the vehicle record. If the setting always post this to the network is set to yes, then it will be eligible to be posted to the network. Set this control to no for any vehicle that should never be posted on the network. For example, vehicles that are on dedicated runs, the second control is on the set availability screen. This toggle will determine if your trusted partners can see the posted vehicle or not. Use this setting to dynamically post and unpost the vehicle with your trusted network. There are several ways you can manually set vehicle availability. First, by going into the vehicle profile and clicking on the available data. Second, from the vehicle grid, by clicking on the gear to the left of the vehicle ID and choosing set availability. Third, by going to the update availability menu and then by clicking on the gear to the left of the vehicle ID and choosing set availability. And finally, while in the vehicle search grid, by clicking on the gear to the left of the vehicle ID and choosing set availability. The update availability grid performs mass updates of vehicle availability. This grid shows all your vehicles and their posting status, available locations, locks, reserves, etc. Toggle the legend to explain the color coding of any posted vehicle available date time. Not posted vehicles are not color coded. The available date time will be orange if it is in the past. The last post date time identifies the last time somebody or the system changed the availability information. If there is no color, it was done within the past four hours. If it is blue, it was done between four to eight hours ago. Orange means eight to 12 hours ago, and red means over 12 hours ago. The older this date, the higher the possibility that the vehicle has moved or is no longer available. There are two batch operations that can be done quickly using this screen. The first is to set availability. We'll simply update the available date and time for any posting where the date time is prior to your current wall clock time while maintaining the location of the posting. Basically, this means that the vehicles are available in the same place they were before, just updated to current date time. This is a handy tool to freshen the fact the vehicles have not moved and updates their available date time to now. The second option, maintain future postings, looks to vehicles posted in the future and simply updates the fact that they are still there and are still available in the future. This function updates the date time you reviewed the future postings, yet leaves the availability data untouched. The screens, grids, and functions discussed in this video may have changed since this video was first produced. However, the fundamental definitions and concepts about setting vehicle availability and posting a vehicle will remain constant.